Hey everybody, it's your girl Angie. Welcome back to Kiss My Cheeks TV. Let's jump right into Big Brother. This is the beginning of week three. Tyler is HOH and we gonna go through all the drama to get to the already known nominations. We ain't have to go through all this drama for us to know Janelle and Kesa were gonna be on the block. I got, even though it was a predictable episode, I got a lot to say. I got a lot to say and I got a lot of people to read. A lot of people to read because I keep saying it over and over again. Big Brother is broken. <sighs> Let's just get right into it. The first thing I noticed is um, David is on my nerve. He in the confessional. Oh, I'm so happy I survived my first week on the blog. I'm so happy I made it. I'm so grateful. I'm ready to play. And I'm like... I want to go through the TV and slap the shit out of David. Like, why are you here? Like, it's very clear and obvious that all the talk and hopes we had for David last season, I wish he would not have been the first one out. Because I wish Cliff or somebody who was it, Jessica, somebody would have lost that competition and David wouldn't have been the first one out. So we would not have to see David back again. I believe wholeheartedly David's gameplay last season would have been trash. Trash. Really think about it. All he really had going for him was what he talked about in his interview. He was able to cry on cue. And he covered the black vote, the black male vote, or house guest, and he happened to be first. I wished Kimmy and Ovi maybe would have lasted a couple of weeks too, because maybe if Cap Comeback wouldn't have been all people of color and Cliff, we wouldn't have to see David again. We wouldn't. I wish we would have never had that storyline. David gets on my nerve. He's like, I'm working with Tyler. I'm like, where? How? What do you and Tyler talk about to work together? Tyler is working with the telephone group. He saved you. That's it. Let's move on. Because I got more people to read. And I'm going to read that. Oh, I'm going to read David real good later. Because I, I I was a little bit harsh on Twitter. I was. But I ain't taking it back. I had my Nene meme. I said what I said. Let's move on. So, we see Cody and Tyler making all these alliances because they're like, Janelle, everyone's scared of Janelle. Janelle is rallying her troops. Everyone, they're trying to get their numbers. And... We got to go make these alliances so Janelle can't get them. And I'm like, at some point, this shit is going to backfire in your face. And I already see the beginnings of a bitter jury. You cannot have an alliance with everyone. Like, it can't be an alliance. You can't have two alli an alliance of eight here, an alliance of seven here, an alliance of six here. And they're all overlapping because at some point... These people are going to think we're together. And when you got to cut them, this isn't a Paul situation. Like, one, it, it, is, it isn't one person dominating the house. It is the big alliance dominating the house, not one person. But all of these people in the big alliance think they're the big dog. And so it's going to be some bitter people when it's time to start plucking them off, plucking them off. I really can't wait till we get to the final eight. Because that's when Big Brother, I'm telling you, that's when the season is going to get good. But anyway, Cody, they're scared of Bailey and Davon talking to Janelle. And out of Tyler's mouth, yeah, I really don't trust Bailey or Davon. And I'm like, see, this the bullshit I'm talking about. I'm getting too angry. I'm getting too angry. This the bullshit I'm talking about. You come in the house hugging Bailey. This is a new game. I'm sorry about what happened our season, but it's me and you. It's me and you. Bailey, I've been telling you through the TV. I've been telling you through social media for months now. Don't get on Big Brother bullshitting with Tyler. He is not your friend. He will put you up the second. The second. 
he gets the opportunity. If it was not for Janelle and Kaser, Bailey and Devon, Tyler would be putting them up on the block right now. He doesn't give a shit about Bailey. He does not give, he's not even wanting to protect Bailey. He doesn't even care about Bailey being a number for him because he already has dumbass Christmas and dumbass David. And Bailey needs to wake up. Here they are in a room with Enzo, Danny, Tyler, and Cody talking about they the slick six. Where? Bitch, where? Y'all already know for a fact that Tyler, Cody, Danny, and friends are in an alliance so how the fuck do you think now you're going to be the slick six what did they just get rid of um friends out of nowhere for you you think they really just kick friends out of their core for alliance for you two really really i need y'all to wake up i really do because at this point i'm ready for davon to go too <laughs> really davon could go this week and i would be happy because it's harder for me to see Davon play bad. I'd rather just not see her play at all. I'd rather just not see Davon play at all than to see her play this bad. Like, this is Davon's worst gameplay to me. Like, she doesn't even need friends to be a snake. She doesn't even need Danny talking this shit about her behind her back. She's fucking it all up herself. And we're going to get to Davon later. Let's move on. Let's move on. Um, I already talked about the Slick Six. As soon as they talked about the Slick Six, <laughs> they cut to another screenshot of Cody and them saying, this, this is bullshit. This ain't no real alliance. We just did this. So I'm like, production is just airing this shit to make black girl magic look like dummies. <laughs> it's clear as day. They, it's a lot of alliances being formed in this house if you watch the line feeds that production gives no airtime to but they made it clear to show bailey and davon jump into this slick six and clear the very next edit was them saying this is bullshit <laughs> we 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 putting they as bailey and davon really if tyler was smart i think this week if he was smart he should have um he should have saved Janelle. If anything, get rid of Case. Put Kaser and Davon on the block. <sighs> Let's, um, I, I wrote a little note for future players. People in season 23. <clears throat> season 23 people. On day one, if you ain't going up to the HOH and creating a huge alliance with the cool kids, you, you on the outside and you in danger. Like, if you're not... And who do I consider the cool kids? And I might read me in the comments, say whatever you want to say. The cool kids are who are the cool kids right now. They're usually not African-American, and they usually don't have dark hair. They're usually white, blonde, blue eyes, production favorites. If you ain't cool with one of them, you in danger. And I'm not saying that you, you can be an African-American. We've seen African-Americans with the cool kids before, but I'm just telling you, if you ain't with them, you out. Pretty much whoever that first HOH is, if you ain't up in that HOH room week one making deals, making alliances, you out. You can't, the way Big Brother is being played right now, you can't just ride it through and... Say, okay, I'm just like Ian. I'm just going to sleep and around halfway through, I'm going to wake up. Come halfway through, you're going to be gone. Number two, if you are in an alliance of six or five or four, however many in your alliance, and no one is bringing you information, but you're spilling all of the information, that alliance isn't real. They're using you for the knowledge. And you need... The number one thing you need to do in Big Brother to really see who's working together is see who is always talking together. To me, the, the huge, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Um, lastly, if your alliance, you in a safety competition, any kind of safety, it ain't got to be the safety suite, future seasons. And you just create an alliance of six, the six slick, whatever y'all call it. And they don't even entertain 
giving you the safety and they give it to someone completely outside of the alliance, the alliance is not real. Stop fall I can't believe Davon of all people is falling for the bullshit. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. Now we get to the HOA picks. And I was, not the HOA, but the have-nots. Because, you know, they get to choose who's going to be the have-not the next week. I knew it was going to be some hot shit this week, and I was ready. So we get to David. And this is where I read David all over social media. And I ain't taking it back. He and his confessional was like, I want to give Memphis have-nots again, but I want to show him that I'm a caring and compassionate person, and I want to play for the long haul. And I, I just I just can't, I can't put him up. And he's up in here fumbling, bumbling, like, um, let me see. Um, and Enzo's like, I do it, man. Don't worry about it. I got you. And I'm like, you bitch. And I put it on social. Check my Twitter, at KissMyChicksTV. I said, you bitch. I said, I would have put Memphis on the block so fast. I was just waiting for David to be like, your turn. Your turn, big kid. Like, I I was waiting for that hot shit. All that hot shit David was spitting in the confessional last week when he got nominated. I was excited. I'm like, at least, at least he gonna put Memphis back in that have not room. Mm -mm. And Memphis all in the corner like, yeah, I know you ain't. <laughs> There's no hope for David. There's absolutely no hope for David. Like in another scene on the live feeds, Bailey was telling David, look, next week's HOH is really important. We got to win it. It's going to set the tone. And I said, Bailey, you would have more luck explaining this to that damn rubber ducky on the fucking wall. Like, David has no clue. He's a lost cause. To me, David is who you take to the final two at this point. Ride his ass to the end. Give him $50,000. I promise you, if you're sitting next to David in that final two, you win. No one is giving him a vote. No one. Not as, I don't care how bitter the jury is. They're not giving David ass a vote. That had really pissed me off. That really pissed me off that Memphis was not a have not. As much as Memphis disrespected you last week, he called you a buddy. You was upset he called you a buddy. He said you was a little kid walking to the game and all that bullshit. Tyler talking all this hot shit in your ear and you can't even make him a have not. I guarantee you, Memphis can win HOH next week and he will sit your ass on the block again with Davon and put you in the fucking have not room again too. I can't stand him. I cannot. A waste of an opportunity. Kaser can't pick anybody either, so Cody volunteers. Christmas ain't have no problem saying Bailey I, Bailey was hugging and rubbing Christmas all last week on that safety competition. Just for Christmas, put your ass right back in the have not room. Whatever. Y'all gonna learn. I don't know when y'all gonna learn. Because I'm at the point now, I'm really with everybody has $40,000. I would be talking cash money shit. I would be making this shit entertainment. You already got your second place money when you walked in the door. So why is nobody not playing the game? Now, the, the best one was, was friends. <laughs> and... I'm here for the slick shit. Friends was like, well, I'm going to give it to the person that always got my name in their mouth. Janelle, there you go. And I was like, <laughs> I, I snapped, but I can't really, I really can't stand friends. And friends was like, did I really just say that? I'm like, bitch, you knew what you said and you know what you're doing. <laughs> you knew what you said and you knew what you was doing. And so Janelle got up and was like, I know um, friends don't like no confrontation, but she got the right one, baby, because I'm about to get, I hope, I hope Janelle lights friends up all week, all week. Janelle, you going home. You going home, so light her ass up all week. Expose everything. Call her everything, because she came back in the room and was like, just stop, Nicole. 
And she was like, I didn't really mean to do it. I didn't know I was going to say. She was like, bitch, stop. And then she walked away. Now, I wanted you to get in, that, get in the face. Get in the face. I, I'm ready for it. And to, and to me, Franz, Nicole Franzel is the picture of a Karen in the dictionary. That's what the fuck Karens do. They start shit. They want to, they slick at the mouth. They want to have that slick shit. But as soon as you come in their face and be like, bitch, stop. Oh, I can't believe, I can't believe she said that to me. I want to see, I want to see it all week, Janelle. I want to see it all week. I want, I want friends crying every opportunity. This is the only week I want to see friends crying. I want to see her crying every chance that you get. Because I'm going to read that bitch some more at the end. But let's keep moving. Okay, where am I at? Um, I already said that. Um, at some point, they think Memphis is with them. And it's like, Memphis might give us safety. And, you know, Memphis is like, yeah, I got to throw this because I can't give them safety. And my whole thing is, I'm like, why did you save them last week? <laughs> like, Memphis, you just exposed your whole game last week. Everyone thinks you're sketchy after not backdooring Janelle last week. Just for you to throw the competition and put her out the house this week. You could have, you rocked the boat with your alliance last week just to put her out this week, which did nothing for your game. If anything, you should have been trying to secretly work, work with Janelle. But Janelle, like, I'm going to say this one thing, Janelle. I'm just going to remind you, girl. When Kaser went in that safety room at the very last second, you should have let him go in there alone. Because if he the only one in there at the last second, he wins it, and you two are safe, and you would have had an opportunity to play again. But moving on from that. So now, Nicole, friends, everybody, like, we got to play in the safety so we don't expose our alliance. And I'm like, this is dumb shit. This is dumb shit. Everybody know y'all an alliance. But moving on. Who wins it? Enzo wins it. Now, before they play, this is where Devon fucks her game up. She telling Danny, I really hope somebody, you know, in our alliance wins it. Like, if you win it, give it to me because I just really want a punishment. I ain't never had no punishment. All the big brother, all the times I played big brother, and I really just want a punishment. I'm like, bitch, are you dumb? Like, are you dumb? You really want a punishment that fucking bad? Whenever these people get a punishment, like, they the dumbasses in the costume, but it's usually a punishment for the whole house. Usually production is over that loud speaker all times of night. People got to participate. It gets, on, it gets on the whole house's nerves. So <laughs> make this shit make sense, Davon. You just, even though the Slick Six... It's fake. It's fake as shit. But you are, everybody as clear as day knows that Janelle and Kaser were going on the block. By you sitting up here asking everybody in your new fake alliance, I, I just really want a punishment. Can I have the punishment? You know, I, I, I know I'm safe, but I just want a punishment. You sketch them all out. You got Danny playing mind games with Tyra, you know. Something going on with Davon. She really wants this safety so bad. I don't know why. And, and Danny know why. She wants the fucking punishment. But Davon, the whole reason, even if it was for the fucking punishment, you done played this shit three times. You should know better. You should know better. Because, not true enough, without Davon talking about the punishment and all, she was sitting on the block next week regardless. Regardless, if her and Bailey don't win, she was sitting on that block regardless so but now what you did they was gonna put you up anyway you now you gave them a reason to now they can be like you were super sketchy with asking everybody for safety last week so i felt like you ain't trust me so now they have a reason to put your ass on the block you just gave them the reason when before they would have had to come up with something i am at a point now i said it once and i'll say it again I'd rather see Davon not play than to play this bad. But let's hurry up because this is getting kind of long. Tyler and Cody sitting upstairs and they upset. They can't believe people talking about their true ass alliance. Like, I can't believe everyone is saying we're in alliance. I'm like, but y'all fucking is an alliance. 
I can't stand them. Moving on from that. I already talked about I think it would be a smart move for Tyler to keep Janelle as a shield. It worked in Survivor, the meat shield strategy, because as long as Janelle is still in the house, Danny and friends will lose their mind. They won't be able to concentrate on anything but getting Janelle out. Janelle, 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 Janelle. Janelle. And so if Janelle is there, you can control Danny and friends. And Janelle can help you get out the Memphises. Tyler, you're going to need somebody to help you get out a Cody. If anything, you could have put up Day and Kaser and got rid of Kaser and, or Devon. Like, and then it, you still would have got somebody out. But anyway, I don't think... What's going to happen... Let's play think about this for a second. What's going to happen? What I think is going to happen with the telephone group, because I already said at some point, it's not going to get good until like the top eight. And I think the top eight would be the telephone group along with Enzo and David. Maybe flip out. If Memphis goes early, it could be a Kevin in there too. It's, it's going to be some floaters in there too. But what I think what's going to happen with the telephone group is that they're getting rid of all the women. It looks like Janelle is getting ready to go week three. I guarantee you, Davon is going to go week four. And it's going to be a guy-heavy house. They're going to easily get rid of friends and Danny because Memphis, all of the guys are comp beasts. You got Memphis, Cody, Tyler, Enzo, not David. But um, they're going to easily get rid of <clears throat> friends and Danny. Christmas is a comp beast too, so but Christmas is tied to Tyler. I feel like Tyler is not going to get rid of Christmas and then once it gets down to like the core six minus um friends and Danny, it's going to be between Cody's group and Tyler's group and Cody has Memphis. I think Enzo is more with Tyler, but Tyler will have at least Christmas, Enzo. He will have a David, but David ain't winning nothing. So whoever can win out of that is going to put that other side up. And then that's when it's going to get interesting. Um, I think at some point, everyone, I can't see anybody wanting to vote out David. I can't see Tyler wanting to go to the end with Cody. I can't see Memphis wanting to go to the end with the Tyler. Like, everyone is going to go after those threats, and David is going to be sitting on the block as a pawn for half of, probably for this kind of like, what's her name, Victoria. Going to be sitting on that block for the second half of the game. Um, But let's move on. Let's get to the good part. Because I did say on Twitter, the only satisfaction I'm getting out of Big Brother 22 right now is knowing only one person can win this game. Only one. I don't care how big the telephone group gets. I don't care how many subsidiaries they sign up. Only one person can win this game. So it's going to eventually get good. I can't wait for friends to get her ass out the house. And I hope Julie reads the hell out of her. But anyway, the read of the week is Bailey was talking. I ain't see it on the live feeds, but I heard about it. And, ooh, I was all over Twitter. I was laughing my ass off. All I know is they was talking about friends winning and talking about Janelle been here four times, whatever. And Bailey was like, it took you a couple of tries before you won and a couple of guys. And I said, bitch, you better read. You better read, friends. And then friends heard about it and shed it all her white girl tears. And not everybody upset with Bailey talking about Bailey was mean to friends, talking about a couple of tries, a couple of guys. And I said, that's bullshit. Everybody all this season has been joking. I believe Christmas said it, Memphis said it, everyone was caught. Cody said it, calling her the showman's queen. She's the expert of the showman's. But when Bailey says it, oh, now I gotta cry white girl tears. And I believe um, Bailey was talking to Janelle. 
grateful. And I appreciate Davon and Bailey telling Janelle, like, you could yell at friends and you will be looked at someone as putting friends in her place or you and friends going back at it with each other. But if I yell at friends or Davon yells at friends, we will be the angry black woman who is picking on this little tiny fragile nasally voiced snake rat like we gonna be looked at the big bad bully picking on friends when danny friends all of them have been trashing daily day davon and bailey since the game started danny in the house talking about, oh, look, there go Davon and her weave. And Davon like, bitch, this my hair. Like, Davon couldn't even be like, bitch, this my hair. She was like, this is my hair. Because if she would have been like, bitch, this is my hair, Davon would have been on the, on the block week one. <laughs> like, it's so unfortunate <clears throat> that, and let's just have a little bit of race talk real quick. It's so unfortunate that black people have to come on a show like Big Brother, which I truly, completely love, wholeheartedly love Big Brother. But I know for a fact I couldn't come on there and play because my mouth, I'm going to have something to say. I'm going to have something to say, and I'm going to be on the block probably week two, week, week one, week two, week three, because... People going to say I'm the drama of the house because I always have something to say. But less melanated people than me could come on the house, talk all the shit they want to talk. Say they um don't want to get in the sun too long because they're getting too close to my color. They can talk all that hot shit, slick shit, say I got my name in their mouth so I can be a have not, all that shit. And they're just playing the game. But Black people cannot play the same game, and that's why Big Brother is so fake. Until Big Brother has a truly diverse cast, put in four white people, four Asian people, four Hispanic people, four African American people, have a truly equally diverse cast, people can't be themselves because we're always going to have to self-check and then when we do, because you know what happens when people have to self-check their attitude and not, they explode. That's why Bailey mouth was bleeding at one time. Because when they do finally go off on your ass, they're going to go off and then they got to go. I'm scared. We're scared. I'm like, bitch, but y'all talking all the shit. And I know I said I don't like to talk about race that much. And I don't find racism in everything. And I'm not saying these people are racist, but... They don't understand the privilege, clearly, clearly. They don't understand the privilege. And I'm here for Davon and Bailey constantly dropping knowledge. But what I need Davon and Bailey to do to understand that if you all want to go far in this game, you got to cut David. <laughs> if I was, if I was, because I also heard in the live feed rumors, friends and Danny are trying to make Davon and David have a showman's. Why? David is a fucking idiot. Why would she want to be in the showman's with him? <sighs> I'm over the shit. Like I said, I'm over the shit until about week week eight. Maybe, maybe the top ten, because around the top ten, they might... If Bailey can last the top ten... She might be pulled in as a number, but we're at it's, it's very unfortunate because we're at the point in the game where they can't even rally anybody like Bailey Day. They can't even their biggest mistake was letting letting go of Nicole last week because y'all want to be all black lives. Um, can't vote out people that look like myself. I would have voted David out so fast, you just don't understand. You just don't understand how fast I would have voted David out. Julie wouldn't even have to say shit to me. I would have came in the room and said, David, peace. Julie wouldn't even have to say hi to me or call my name or nothing. David can go. That's it. That was their biggest mistake because at least if they would have kept Nicole, Nicole would have rallied that other side. I think Nicole could have helped pull 
Ian into that other side because now Ian think he's in a core four with friends, Cody and Tyler. And I'm like, Ian, you the first one to go. Like, really, after they get rid of Davon, you next. You next. Like, Kevin is going to last longer than all of them. Kevin is... Kevin is going to last longer than all of them. Around top 10, they're going to get rid of Kevin. Who you think going to rally the outsiders together? Kevin? Kaser looks like if Janelle goes this week, he ready to self-evict and go right along with her. It doesn't look like Kaser has any more fights. I'm over the shit. Let's quit talking about it. Let's just see what happened. I can't wait to see the live feed some more because I just want to see some more hot shit being talked because I really don't feel like the production is going to let us see all the hot shit that Friends is going to get this week. So trust and believe if I see it, you going to know about it because I ain't going to let it. I ain't going to let it miss the edit. Mm -mm. But before I get to just be talking too much, we're going to like, comment, share. And I'll be back with y'all Wednesday. And let's see what happened with this veto. I already know Cody won the veto. But I don't know the outcome of the veto ceremony. I'm very sure the nom stayed the same. At the most, if I have any kind of hope for Janelle, Tyler would have to really convince Cody to pull Janelle off and put Davon ass up. <laughs> and I'll be ready for day to go. But anyway, like, comment, share, get in the comments. Let me know all that good stuff. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.